I want to play this clip. This is uh, Jen Psaki. This is our This Week's Psaki Bomb. All right, this is uh, Jen Psaki at the White House talking about border security. This is an irony of all ironies. Let's watch. No, I, I would say first the bill that the president proposed on his first day in office included smarter security uh, and border protections and also included a more humane uh, path uh, for uh, migrants entering the country. Uh, both of those remain priorities for the president. He believes that the, the immigration system is broken. It's long overdue to fix it. Uh, he also believes and worked on this very closely as vice president that addressing the root causes is one of the central steps we need to remain focused on even as we're trying to address the current circumstances at the border. Jen, let me give you a little help here. One of the central causes, you say, about illegal immigration just running out of control is because you opened the door and you left cheese and everybody's coming to run for it. It's real simple. This is not complicated. Maybe in Washington, but where the rest of us live in America, we kind of understand. Uh, the border policies that we had, which were control of the border, letting people in when they uh, le legitimately wanted to come and be part of this country and they desired to fill out the paperwork and tell us who they were and where they come from, uh, took a test to make sure they weren't bringing any communicable disease in. The immigration system was getting better. And the, the so-called wall, well, it was beginning to work because we funneled people toward controllable entries. None of us are against immigration that I know. There may be somebody. I've never met anyone who was against immigration. I know most people are against illegal immigration because it lowers the wages for American workers. It invites criminals in with no accountability as to who's going to control what they do when they get here. And one of the worst things that Joe Biden doesn't seem to ever want to talk about, it causes the exploitation of children who end up getting trafficked into sex activities. This is horrible. And when he talks about, and Jen Psaki talks about, more humane treatment. What is so humane about an eight-year-old, nine-year-old girl being sold as a sex slave in this country to be abused and likely killed by people who treat her like she's just a piece of property? There's nothing humane about that. And what's humane about bringing large amounts of fentanyl into the country that every day is killing far more people than COVID has. And it's killing people at all walks of life, not just poor people, but upper middle class, wealthy people, as well as working class and poor people. It's killing Americans. How'd that happen? We didn't control the border. Stuff's coming across by the kilos. And it's just crazy. Uh, Jen Psaki at the White House was asked what Americans should be doing practically uh, to deal with the cost of fuel. Watch her response. What should they be doing practically at this moment, considering the price of gas is going to affect them? Of course it is, as I've been saying. And that's why we've been focused on it for weeks, if not months. They're not focused on it. They're focused not on making it less expensive for you. That could be fixed really easily. They're focused on trying to make sure that AOC and Rashida Tlaib and uh, the folks, Bernie Sanders, are all happy about what they're doing. Just remember that. When you go to vote in November, you keep voting for these people. That's what they're doing to you. Now, this is Jen Psaki talking about how Biden is doing everything he can. If you believe that, well, let's see. Here's how she puts it. The president is going to do everything we can to reduce the impact, uh, to make sure that we are working with our partners around the world to address the volatility in the global oil markets, to consider a range of options that he can continue to take to uh, reduce the impact that they're feeling at the pump. Basically, that is a non-answer. That's one of those great government speak kind of answers that says we're doing everything we can and we're, we're recognizing this incredible problem. We don't have any solutions that we're going to use because they're politically incorrect. But boy, oh boy, do we care. You know, I think the only gas that we'll get relief of from these guys is buying Rolaids because that's the only gas I think we're going to have any relief from. 
the gas that they're giving us from all this nonsense. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts.